Well, as we said, coming up in a couple of weeks at Sandown at the Sandown 500, as I said, just, it's something of a nostalgia fest with the Formula 5000s in action and also the Touring Car Masters. The Touring Car Masters has been one of the massive success stories of local motorsport over the past few years. Uh, they're not, as we said before, not historic cars as such, but uh, they are so popular and the series is just growing considerably. We've got two of the main competitors in the race coming up in a couple of weeks' time and we've got the, uh, the old battle. It's Ford versus versus Holden. First of all, in the blue corner for driver of the Falcon GTHO is Wayne Mercer and alongside him, driver of the HQ GTS, the not the Kingswood, the GTS, and that's Gary O'Brien. Gentlemen, welcome to In Pit Lane. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for having us. Now Wayne, let's talk about your car first, uh, a Falcon GTHO. I understand that you originally got it from an unusual source. Yeah, I bought my car with a couple other guys on eBay. It was a partly built NC car um, and we developed it up and started racing with it quite cheaply but uh, that quickly proved to be unsuccessful and I spent the last two years rebuilding it and it's up to scratch now mechanically and everything so it's actually a very good car now it's just up to me to try and point it the right way so so when you when you guys got it was it a, a genuine GDO to be HO to begin no. with or was it just a, a the Falcon you brought up yeah just, just a Falcon just doing up the specs so which you know, past, they're way past spec what a phase three was in their day, these things. So. And that's the thing, as we said, the, the, the modifications you can make to these cars, what have you, what have you done to your car that you couldn't have done in the, in the Group C, in, in C specifications? Oh, the brake upgrades of quite dark calipers on the front of them and, and rotors effectively. We've got um, full floater rear end in it with camber on it and, and disc brake rear end, 650 horsepower, 680 horsepower engine. It has, it has got plenty of go. So. Gary, your car, uh, unusual, uh, a, a four-door uh, GT, not too many, I mean, going back, Malcolm Ramsey ran one briefly back in the 70s, but uh, you're about to make an upgrade to, to your car. Tell us about the, the new car you're about to start. We've got a shot of it on, on there now. Yeah, been working on the um, Tirana for a few years. What the category wanted a few years ago was to mix the, the, the field up a bit, and um, they decided to bring the... Um, the Tirana on board and uh, we basically built all the bodies for the other competitors, Tony Edwards, um, Trevor Talbot bought one at the time and uh, yeah those cars, uh, yeah we've developed those in a spares package for those so my car's been the last one, it was the prototype dummy up car and now it's um, basically moved on to, uh, yeah it's probably the last one built so We've got the hindsight experience now and it should be a pretty good package. So, so what's the advantage of the SLR 5000 over the, uh, the car you're running now? I take it that, what sort of engine are you running in the, uh, in the GT, GTS? Is it a 350 it, or 308? No, it's a 308 Holden. So um, you'll be running the same engine basically? Yes. Um, the, the engines um, that we build are sort of fairly low spec compared to some of the engines like Wayne just mentioned, the 650 horse. Our, ours is a bit over 500 horsepower. Um, made out of garden variety domestic engine parts. So to, to get an upgrade there, um, you know, we've got to look at getting something commercially available, which is a five litre Chev, which the category directors have sort of brought into the um, equation now uh, to get that durability and reliability back into it. So how much of it, I mean, the as I said, because they're not historic cars, well, do you get much sort of grief from some of the historic guys in terms of saying, well, these these aren't the real thing; these are these are basically replicas? I don't I don't think I've actually heard that in the two and a half years I've been racing the car. Oh, you haven't but, hung around enough. In the yeah, but most guys, most maybe. people come up and uh, are pretty wrapped in the cars, and they, they come to the meetings and go, oh, "I'm glad you blokes here. We're the only reason you, we come here because we want to watch you blokes go around." So. They ha they are enormously popular. Yeah. I mean, you raced at the Muscle Car Masters uh, last weekend. The, the category was there. Um, another huge crowd, I take it. There was a big crowd on the Sunday, and. Um, there, it's a bit more competition with a lot of the, the classic Bathurst cars and things. That was fantastic to watch the whole lot, and we're part of that. But when we go to the V8 rounds and other rounds, people come along and go, we're only here because you're here. So, And the, the support we get from the fans is unreal. So it's very, very, very popular. So. I suppose it's one of the things, I mean, it's sort of a, a double-edged sword because, as I said, the Formula 5000s are going to be running at the Sandown 500 as well, um, and they are a historic class, and once again, incredibly popular. It's a real celebration of the history of Sandown, really. Pretty much the whole meeting is nothing but V8s, apart from some of the cars that are running with you guys, the Porsches and the like, but... Uh, 
Is there a danger, I mean, with the success of this, are we wallowing too much in nostalgia? I mean, you know, if you have a look at the crowd that are, turn, that are turning up, even at V8 rounds, they're all sort of, you know, around, around my vintage. Oh, I hope so. Keep us popular. <laughs> Keep people get people supporting us and supporting the class. But we get a lot of kids come along and I'll whack the kids in my car and go and sit in there and like it. And the kids love the sound of them and, and stuff. So, yeah, no, I don't think there's a real problem there. So, so, Gary, when people turn up at the Sandown 500 in a couple of weeks, I mean, there will, there will be a lot of families uh, turning up. I mean, are you guys happy? I mean, you can't get too close to the V8 supercars, but are you guys happy to, you know, people bring their kids around and have a look at the cars and want to have a chat with you? The, the whole thing of Touring Car Masters is family. And, uh, you know, I was lucky enough to have my family up at uh, Muscle Car this weekend. And... Um, it was just terrific, but yeah, we do encourage that because the guys can come and touch and feel the cars and put mm. the kids in the seats, like Wayne said. And uh, you know, it's interesting the the interest of the young people. It's you know, second and third generation young people wanting to know about our cars. It's really good, so they'll be around for a while. So, what about you know, the plans? Yeah, Gary's got a new car on the way. I mean, what about the the, the plans for for your car, Wayne? Are you going to do any upgrades? I mean, is is there any way that you guys can get up to the sort of same level as uh, as Mr. Bow and uh, Mustang Sally there? Well, we buy his car, but, but um, hopefully, I'm building a new XY shell, so to put all the gear in from one to the other, which hopefully be lighter and be exploited within the rules of the class. So, um, the cars, the GD Falcon, the, the XY is the probably the worst car in the field to try and make handle because it's heavy, it's top heavy and, and you know they don't, just aren't, haven't got the right um, proportion front to rear and things so you've got to do everything you can to try and get the thing to, to, to handle. So and that's probably the biggest issue, I've got plenty of grunt but trying to go around corners and stop, I've just done a major brake upgrade on it and at Eastern Creek I flat spotted four tyres in practice just trying to get used to the new brakes you know, so. but the car's fantastic other than it's a bit heavy and uh, I'll have a new shell for next season and Hopefully it'll be good. So. Mention John Bow's car, of course he calls his Mustang Sally, which is fair enough. But I understand you you have a name for your car. Oh, I've got a called mine Kylie because she just goes, she goes, she goes. So. <laughs> OK, you, you obviously know more than what, anything, any secrets you'd like to tell us about. No, 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 just off the uh, show years ago with, with Kylie Miles. So I thought, yeah, she goes, she goes, she goes. So, yeah, we'll call her Kylie. What, what, what about you, Gary? You've got a, a name for your car that we can, that we can repeat on air? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> passionately known as Black Betty. So, yeah, black car. Yeah, so mm. Black Betty. What is it about you guys in the touring car? You want to keep naming your cars? Oh, we're passionate yeah. about them. Gives so. them a bit of character. Yeah. When you spend so much time in the shed with it, you've got to, <laughs> got to call it something. So. It's a bit of a relationship. <laughs> I, think, I think we're starting to get into very, very dangerous territory now. And uh, Although you know, we are after 9.30, I think we're probably fairly safe. Yeah. Well, good luck uh, at Sandown. It'll, it'll, you'll be in front of a huge crowd there. And as you say, uh, they really do they really do lift the, a lot of the V8 supercar car meeting so uh, best of luck for the, for the future for the Touring Car Masters but for now Wayne and Gary thanks for joining us in Pit Lane. Pleasure, thank you. Thanks Brett. And thank you to you for joining us at home. Next week we'll have all of the news from for the Sandown 500, a big preview. At the start of the show you probably saw we're dedicating tonight's show to the memory of the great Alan Simons and Alan was Alan was a very close friend of us here on the program and uh, as, as I said on, on our website whenever we got together we'd talk about Le Mans. I mean Alan loved Le Mans. I loved Le Mans and to, to lose him like that under those circumstances was just a, just a terrible sort of situation. Um, Alan, I believe there may even be something happening at Sandown in terms of a, uh, of a further tribute to Alan. Alan would be absolutely stunned to see the outpouring of emotion but uh, he really deserved a lovely guy, great sense of humour and I think he'd probably by now be looking down at it and saying for God's sake just get it over with and go racing guys. But uh, Alan this one's for you. We'll see you next week on the program from all all of us here at In Pit Lane and RMI TV. Until next week, bye for now. tuned with a Dynotech Dino? Your car will be more fuel efficient. An accurate tune means saving money at the pump.
Your car is safe. It never has to leave the workshop to be tested. Increased performance, optimised fuel consumption and more power. Reduced emissions, protect the environment by minimising your carbon footprint. To find your nearest Dynotech workshop, go to www.dino.com.au. Dynotech by Dynodynamics.